is Manchester United 3, Bournemouth 0. Manchester United collecting another three points, baby. Yes. And yes, this time again, three goals, three individual go No, no, not even three individual goals. Three brilliant goals. Team goals. Just wonderfully crafted goals today by Manchester United against Bournemouth. Yes, today they came from the piers all the way down to Manchester. Yep, it, today you had to collect some H2O today because you got drenched and soaked up. So you got to take that back to Bournemouth Beach. Yes, it was today. Manchester United giving us a lovely night on a Tuesday. Got your girl in this club and since Tuesday. Trust me, the club was going up on a Tuesday. And we was enjoying, we had our feet set up. He said, you know what? I can enjoy this today, you know. I'm going to enjoy it. And Manchester United let us enjoy. Brilliant first 45 minutes because Manchester United, we was in control. We was never looking like, what? Bournemouth are going to do something. Oh, my God, we're going to concede against Bournemouth. No, it wasn't like that today. It looked like, oh, my God, how many goals are we going to get? We're going to score against Bournemouth, you know. Manchester United, six, controlling possession as well, dominated 63%. With the first goal coming in from a set piece, Christian Eriksen, beautiful, lovely set piece, caught a free kick straight to the right foot, planted on Casemiro's right foot. Casemiro, Casemiro, this guy is wonderful. And he started the game, started the night off at Old Trafford, 1 0 to Manchester United. And then, brilliant, Manchester United just continue to do what they have to do. The second half was just amazing spectacular at times you know the football that we was playing we wasn't giving up we was trying to finish our dinner today and we did second goal coming in luke shaw brilliant sequence of passes first of all you know i gotta love you gotta love that you know the sequence of passes uh with, with the ball to bruno Fernandes. bruno Fernandes looking for Ganacho, Ganacho squaring it to short for short to finish it and Shaw started off the whole attack Gliding and getting the ball, going forward and forward and forward. I was screaming, Luke Skywalker. I was going, dun, 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 dun. him just carrying the ball forward. It was just nice to see, you know. And it was a wonderfully crafted goal by Luke M Manchester United and also Luke Shaw. The third goal came along, and Rashford, oh, 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 the pass from Luke Shaw again. Brilliant, lofted, long pass to find Bruno Fernandes. And Fernandes to square it to Marcus Rashford, to tap it in. And Rashford with the... You know the score. You know what it is, bruv. You get me? Rashford making it three goals to know. Four time for Manchester United. And it's heaven for us Manchester United fans. Because I thought today we was good. Spectacular. The team goals was great as all. Well. What Ten Hag has done so far. <laughs> I need to get myself together. It's just too beautiful, man. Sorry, I'm getting emotional right now. But I shouldn't get be carried away. New Manchester United fans shouldn't be carried carried away. Level on points with Newcastle, which is a good thing for us, and we can only be happy because a, with a game in hand, definitely we're cementing the top four. Five points away from Tottenham, nine points away from Arsenal. Three wins away if they was to lose. Arsenal did drop points, so I'm happy about that. Ha <laughs> ha, Arsenal. Ha <laughs> ha. But yes, guys, Manchester United fans, the players today, let me go straight into it because I felt sorry for one individual who had a decent game. Donny van der Beek, who got injured, unfortunately. This guy can't catch a break for his Manchester United career. He just can't. No, it's just, it just doesn't work for him. Cassie Miro as well. Brilliant. Rolls Royce in midfield. He made Maguire look good. Maguire had a good game. Apart from that one little thing where he... Passed the ball to Lindelof and they missed him and he went for a corner. I can't really complain about Maguire's performance today. You know, it was a good step in. He deputized well. Marcus Rashford, love the guy now. He's just doing what he's meant to do, man. Going past players, skillful, everything. He's got the confidence in him. I just don't know where he got the corners from. Where did you get the corners from, Marcus? I want to know. I want to know where you got your corners from. Like, Joe, I want to know. But yes. Bruno, brilliant today, magnificent. Man of the match today, to me, has to go to Bruno Fernandes. You can easily give it to Luke Shaw, the assist and the goal. But if you saw what Bruno was doing today, and you know I've been calling Bruno donkey for, for a while, and he's been playing mad shit for some times, inconsistent. But 
he's really involved in the game you know the night miss performance is getting better and perf he's performing better and he's doing it for the team and today again an assist for him just creating chances and getting himself in involved in goals creations Bruno is just magnificent and that's why he's my man in the match don't give the match day Anthony Marshall you played another shit game and you know goals from you Manchester United fans enjoy it we go again Friday FA Cup as always, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, remember to share across all social media platforms and press the notification bell because this has been your man match reaction from your boy Ivory Spice. Let me know who your man the match is in the comments, your donkey of the match, and also your thoughts on the game. As always, remember to keep it united and remember to keep it regular. Peace out. Peace.